Hello, it's Dale here. I'm going to talk today about my embellishing machine and creating fabric. I know it fascinates people and I know there are lots of people who've got these under their beds and haven't used them. And I know there's lots of people looking to buy them. So if you've got one under your bed you want to, lose, want to get rid of, just let me know and I'll pass it on to all the people who keep asking me because they're hard to find. Embellishing machine, in case you don't know what it is, it has no thread. You don't have to thread a needle. It has no bobbin case. It just has like little felting needles um, which have barbs on so you can hand felt with a needle also inside there's nothing in there i've been inside these uh, machines and i all it's just a place a part in front where the dust collects so you, the only thing you need to do is to clean the dust out regularly it's not dust as such it's the all the stuff that might come from one of the materials you're working on and that's all you have to do and the this one is a baby lock it has got uh, uh, I don't know six or eight um, felting needles and what it does is it pushes the stuff through to the other side so one of my friends calls it smashing and I'm using a pre-felt and I'm using um, scrim so this is the pre-felt and this is scrim and I just how to create the most wonderful texture and you can see I've got the scrim on the top and I'm using bits and pieces of colors now, it doesn't matter I put a whole piece down and I'm working it and I'll show you what happens in a minute when I turn it over so I'm only working from one side for a reason this is the scrim and I'm pushing it it shrinks up a little bit while it's working and then turn it over and you've got this wonderful look at that wonderful texture that comes through to the other side and I will cover the whole lot and then um, I might cut it and weave it like I do now here if you put wool down just wool fibers like you know this is some silk fiber but put wool fiber on top of a piece of felt um, that, that there it is on the back you can see the colors I've just laid them down and I've worked on the embellishing embellishing machine with the needle felting just to push so you've got the rainbow effect there turn it over and you can see how it comes through so it's not in your face it's much more subtle than it is there and then it gives you a nice surface this was just onto black wool felt and the little piece for the flowers I have just made with again uh, this time some of the wool some of the uh, wool I had here and some scrim so you've got a contrast of the two and I know I've talked about this quite often um, using scrim or uh, wool or felt it's one of the nicest things I like to do of course when you stitch then you can run it back through and it'll sink your stitches in and so on but here I've um, done lots of pieces like that you can see the scrim on the back so it's green and I've worked it through and I've cut it out so it would make a, a really nice um, cuff of some sort and I've put it back together again and I've added thread and things in through it that I might have had lying around. So it's actually all sort of wool, things with wool in. So um, just but the, the texture, you will never get your texture this any other way than using this machine. And this particular one here, if you have a look at it, it looks quite interesting. But think about it. I've got scrim on the back and I've got black uh, felt and I've worked it through. But on the top, I had laid some sari ribbon so it's um uh, see the sari ribbon here so i put that on first on the top put uh, on top of the wolf on top of the felt turned it over put the scrim on the bottom and just worked it from this side only so you're just coming down here like this and just working work it as you wish you don't have to be working right through everywhere but you can see how it pushes the, um, the, the scrim up to the top so it gives you an added texture whatever color you've got underneath is what will come up which is why I deliberately put the blue onto this one so you can see the contrast when it comes up onto the surface now I could work the whole lot or just work parts or isolate what I'm doing so be quite um, painterly and artily with it here what I've done is I've, um, I've woven it once I've cut it I was finished doing the whole lot I've then cut it so some sides have got the scrim on them and sometimes I pull that out so it's much looser than it is appears to be here um, 
this is one of our a different not the one that we've got at the moment it's quite a fine one this one but i'll pull it all out and distort it which is what it does really well and then i've woven them together and if you have a look you can see the the contrast between the side that's not on the top part this part and that part in this piece so it gives a nice textural contrast and then i've simply put some um uh, uh gimp down and, and couched it onto the surface and done a little round with the gimp there because i do like it and use some threads just to give it a little bit of interest so it's great for purses and book covers and anything that you like but the machine is, is a godsend and as i said if you've got one lying around why don't you get it out and have a play with it or if you really don't want it anymore let me know and i'll let all the people who keep asking me for them um it's a it's a simple machine nothing much can go wrong um, really good. So I hope that's been a little bit useful for you and I'll see you again another time. Bye.